I'm in my Tesla on autopilot going 40 miles an hour towards a fake Wiley Coyote Roadrunner painted wall. And as I suspected, thanks. <sighs> and it turned out, holy me. In a world where the future of transport is increasingly leaning toward automation, the promise of self-driving cars is as exciting as it is controversial. Tesla, one of the major players in this domain, has consistently pushed the boundaries of what autonomous driving should look like. Their decision to exclude LiDAR technology in favor of camera-based systems has sparked a heated debate across the tech and automotive communities. Elon Musk, Tesla's outspoken CEO, argues that since humans drive using vision and neural processing, cars should be able to do the same using cameras and advanced AI. But when this philosophy is put to the test in real-world conditions, it quickly reveals its limitations. The brain is a powerful processor, and our ability to intuitively assess movement, depth, and intent cannot be easily replicated by AI, especially when it's fed only visual input. Before we continue, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel with the bell notification turned on for more videos. In recent comparisons, a Lexus equipped with LiDAR technology outperformed Tesla's system in almost every significant way. While both vehicles were able to stop for a stationary object, such as a mannequin placed in the middle of the road, the real difference came in more dynamic scenarios. One particularly telling situation involved a sudden appearance of an obstacle, a simulation of a child running onto the road. Both cars reacted but the Lexus did so faster and more reliably. This is likely because LiDAR systems constantly map their surroundings in 3D, firing millions of laser pulses every second, while Tesla's camera system must first interpret a 2D image before making a decision. It's a race between perception and reaction. And in these instances, LiDAR consistently proves more efficient. Fog and rain, common challenges for any driver, presented significant problems for Tesla's camera-based system. Visibility dropped, and the AI struggled to interpret what was in front of it. In contrast, LiDAR was unfazed, penetrating through dense fog and heavy rain to map obstacles accurately. These are not rare occurrences either. In many regions, weather can change quickly, and drivers or their automated systems must be able to adapt immediately. The limitations of Tesla's vision-only system were again exposed under direct glare from sunlight or other bright lights, which caused overexposure and essentially blinded the cameras. LiDAR, once again, navigated through this challenge without issue, unaffected by the intensity of light in the visible spectrum. The most dramatic failure, however, was in a scenario inspired by a Looney Tunes cartoon, a wall painted to look like a tunnel. While it may seem humorous, the implications are deadly serious. The Tesla drove straight into the wall, apparently interpreting the illusion as an open road. The Lexus, on the other hand, correctly identified the wall as a solid object and stopped. The message is clear, relying purely on cameras and AI to interpret complex visual cues in an unpredictable world can be dangerously insufficient. It highlights a fundamental flaw in assuming that replicating human vision is enough for safe driving. Human drivers do not rely on vision alone. They integrate past experiences, context, and split-second reasoning, qualities that are still far from being mastered by artificial intelligence. Beyond the tests themselves, the fallout from these revelations has had real consequences. Tesla's stock price has suffered significantly, dropping over 40% in a single year, with a 15% plunge on just one particularly damaging day. Countries like Germany, France, and China are beginning to turn their backs on Tesla. In China, data security concerns have compounded the issue, as the government fears that Tesla vehicles could potentially send sensitive data back to the United States. Meanwhile, competitors such as BYD have surged ahead in the Asian markets, taking advantage of Tesla's stumbles to increase their market share. European consumers, wary of controversy and seeking reliability, have also begun gravitating toward alternatives like Volkswagen and Polestar, which combine advanced safety features with broader consumer trust. Tech billionaire Elon Musk has criticized President Trump's top trade advisor over the establishment of global tariffs. Adding fuel to the fire are political concerns. Elon Musk's associations with controversial figures, including President Donald Trump, have raised eyebrows. Critics worry that such alliances might be used to dodge regulations or influence investigations, further eroding consumer trust. In a market where safety and transparency are paramount, perception is everything. The idea that a company might prioritize cost-cutting or political maneuvering over public safety is deeply unsettling for many potential buyers. As the development of autonomous vehicles continues, the divide between vision-only systems and sensor-rich alternatives like LiDAR will likely grow more pronounced. Tesla may be banking on future improvements in neural networks and AI interpretation, but for now, the evidence suggests that the absence of LiDAR is a significant shortcoming. When the stakes are as high as human life, cutting corners on perception hardware is not just a technological choice, it's a moral one. The next few years will be critical in determining whether Tesla adapts its approach or continues to double down on a philosophy that, while innovative, may ultimately prove too risky in practice.
Governments around the world are now playing a more active role in shaping the future of autonomous vehicles, not just through regulations, but through partnerships, subsidies, and strategic planning. Countries like the United Kingdom and Singapore are establishing testbeds and smart city frameworks to support connected and autonomous vehicles. These initiatives often favor systems that can demonstrate high safety standards, which naturally lends itself to technologies using a combination of sensors rather than vision alone. Tesla, by refusing to adopt LiDAR and similar safety-enhancing hardware, may find itself gradually excluded from these collaborative ecosystems. As regulations become stricter and more data-driven, the lack of multi-sensor validation in Tesla's vehicles could become a major liability. In the United States, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NATSA, has launched multiple investigations into Tesla's autopilot and full self-driving features. Numerous crashes involving Tesla vehicles in autopilot mode have drawn national attention, and critics argue that a fundamental design flaw is being overlooked in favor of brand prestige and hype. Some lawmakers are now pushing for clearer labeling, mandatory driver monitoring systems, and even hardware standardization for autonomous features. If passed, these rules could force Tesla to reconsider its hardware approach or risk being non-compliant in one of its biggest markets. Another dimension often overlooked in discussions about autonomous vehicles is insurance. Insurance companies rely heavily on data to assess risk, and the presence of LiDAR and radar offers more reliable incident reconstruction and collision data. Vehicles equipped with these sensors can better identify fault in case of an accident, making claims quicker to process and often cheaper in the long run. Tesla's system, lacking these advanced sensors, creates a higher level of uncertainty and could result in increased premiums or reduced coverage options for owners. As more insurers adopt telematics and real-time monitoring tools, vehicles with robust sensor suites will become increasingly attractive to both drivers and underwriters. Safety and insurance concerns are just one side of the coin. Consumer sentiment is the other. Public opinion has started to shift as more high-profile incidents related to Tesla's automation systems make headlines. Videos of Tesla's failing basic driving tasks, such as running red lights or misjudging turns, go viral, further damaging consumer trust. Forums and review sites increasingly feature discussions about buyers reconsidering Tesla in favor of brands that might not be as flashy but are perceived as more reliable and grounded. Word of mouth, once Tesla's greatest ally, is now becoming a challenge as negative experiences spread faster than corporate messaging can keep up. Competitors are using this moment to their advantage. Companies like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, and Volvo have begun rolling out Level 3 and Level 4 autonomous systems in select models, with clear disclaimers and more robust sensor arrays. Their marketing emphasizes safety, compliance, and incremental progress over bold, untested claims. These brands are working closely with regulators and urban planners to ensure their technologies integrate seamlessly into existing traffic systems. While they may not dominate headlines like Tesla, their strategy appears more sustainable, especially in regions with stricter consumer protection laws. At the same time, advancements in AI and robotics continue to accelerate. New generations of LiDAR sensors are becoming smaller, cheaper, and more accurate. Machine learning algorithms are being trained on increasingly diverse datasets, improving their ability to generalize and respond to edge cases. The industry is moving toward a more holistic approach, one that sees value in combining technologies rather than relying on a single input. Startups and academic institutions are also contributing, exploring hybrid models and predictive systems that could drastically reduce collision rates in the future. Another aspect worth examining is the broader social impact of autonomous vehicles. As these systems become more common, they will influence employment, urban design, and accessibility. Autonomous ride-hailing services, delivery bots, and long-haul freight automation are already being piloted. These systems need to operate with a high degree of reliability across diverse environments, including low-income neighborhoods, construction zones, and areas with high pedestrian traffic. A camera-only model may work well in sanitized test environments, but could struggle in the messy unpredictability of real cities. LiDAR and radar offer a layer of reliability that can serve as a safety net, making them vital for widespread deployment. 